Hey guys, welcome back to the Log Dog Project 365, episode 1790. Guys, you're following along on YouTube, jump on over to thewaddoc.com. Check out all the full length videos that we house there. Today we're doing is using an Indian club to assist us with our active release uh, for internal rotation of our shoulder. We're gonna do this by replicating a sleeper stretch here, okay? Uh, typically, this is our sleeper stretch position. Notice I set the camera angle here so you can see that we're at 90 degrees. We're not bringing that elbow below the shoulder. We're not bringing the elbow above the shoulder. We're right equal with the shoulder. This allows us to isolate this rotation, right? Now, what we're trying to do here when we, we do this is two things. Use our body to pin down our shoulder blade. So I'm laying back onto that shoulder blade and really just isolate this rotation. So I'm not allowing my arm to go out. I'm not allowing my arm to go in. So ideally, and this is the way that we, we teach this a lot, is we use an additional hand to assist in the internal rotation. So I bring the internal rotation down as much as I can. I use my opposite hand as weight and I just go ahead and help that along, okay? The thing that I don't want to happen is I don't want my shoulder to jump up off the table like this. I'm not doing this, okay? I can do this in an active variation as well. And this is where the Indian club really works here because it allows me to keep a neutral position, neutral grip, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start and I'm gonna go down as far as I can, keeping my shoulder down, right? So neutral position as far as I can. Now I have um, like kind of like a, a marker, an objective marker. I'm gonna bring myself up out of the stretch position, keep that shoulder pinned down, and I'm gonna drive down as much as I can till that that uh, Indian club touches the, the mat or the table or the ground, right? And then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to get down just a little bit more. So I take a, a finger more or a half grip more. And again, I drive down just to get to make sure that the pin is gonna go ahead and be able to touch. You could do this with a broomstick or anything else. Um, and then again, I'm just gonna continue to creep down just a little bit until I can't make it. See, in this case, I can't make it right here. So I'm going to work and I'm going to add a little bit of active, or sorry, a little bit of passive stretch on top of that. Hold that down there, really work out down there, take maybe a deep breath in, deep breath out. Allow myself to gain uh, or allow myself to stretch into that position. Naturally, I'm not there, but hopefully maybe now, I can get down there, right? So it's a way of actively starting to release those tissues then uh, just using that passive stretch. And it's gonna help you with the same things that anything else would that we're stretching, right? We're trying to work into that range of motion, that mobility, uh, secure that both from a motor control sense, but also from an actual functional range of motion sense. So guys, I hope that helps you out. Questions, comments, post them below. Otherwise, we're here each and every day optimizing function to optimize performance.